dragon to make him fly, come in for a landing, flap his wings, look at the camera, all a nice attractive background uh, with the floor, all done with one image and one dragon. This is a dragon made using the Bento avatar skeleton from Machina Matrix. It has additional bones for wings, tail, and lots and lots of feet down here. One of the things I need to do to it is turn off some of this stuff, like the names, to unclutter the screen. And then we'll animate this to fly in and come swooping in from the left. So I'm going to stop it. We go to our animation window, and I'm going to put him into a pose position to get start off from, from the very beginning. This shows you the animation I recorded earlier. It's got a lot of different data points in it. Uh, going across is the bone, and each time it records a keyframe. Vertically is one of these slots, like where this yellow keyframe is located down here in the left. You can see I recorded certain positions of bones. We're just going to destroy all of that and start all over and make him come flying into a nice little scene. So we need a backdrop for him to fly against. You can search the internet backdrops. This happens to be fantasy wallpaper. I happen to like this one right here. It has a good spot for our little tiny dragon to fly in from the distance. Come getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger then come down here and land in this general area here. Or I might flip it and have it come this direction, turn around and maybe land right there in this brighter area where this rabbit is. So we're going to save that away. Um, also, you can get more data, more things to put in your scene from Outworld's 3Mesh collection. Uh, avatars like this, uh, things like uh, the Yo Frankie collection. There's all kinds of mesh objects you can use to build your scene, bushes, and things like that that you can add on top of this. So we're going to bring that backdrop in and set it behind this dragon. So the first thing we need to do is to see here. You know, we should be at a default stage now. We're going to go to user preferences to the add-ons and type images. You should have import export import images as planes checked. Then you can do an add mesh images plane. Browse over to the wallpaper collection and bring your image in. So here, seen from above, I need to rotate this 90 with R90. Seen from the front, rotate it like this. Now from our side view, which happens to be Control 3, scale this way up. I think I'm going to flip it the other direction, rotate Z180. Yeah, there we go. If you come from the right, zoom across this way, come down and land in the same general area. So let's push this back a little bit, and let's turn off the reflections on it in the materials panel. We're going to make shadeless. We don't want all that sunlight shining off of it, and we don't want his shadow to cross over the background. and have a shadow in the sky. We need to bend this up underneath him next, so that's relatively easy to do. We we'll go to the T menu. Go to the tools, let's see here, and edit mode, and we should subdivide it several times. Not too many, this should be fine. Then we're going to A, unselect, B, draw a box across the bottom, maybe two rows worth, and then we do a G. There's a circle that will appear. You may have to scroll way in or way out, and you can see how it makes me grab and the influence fall off when you do this because if I got the O key turned on if you turn O on down here it's off proportional editing is on the screen here I want it enabled I want a shape like a sphere and now when I do a G you can see I can move this around so from a side view we can rotate about like that and grab it about like so, and tuck it underneath him. Then we can do an A. I want to 
grab all the way across it, so I'm going to draw a box right in here. Pull that whole thing down. will give us a little bit of distortion, but we can fix it like so. So there's our landing spot for our dragon. It's rather easy to do. The next thing we need to do is position our camera. Let's turn the camera on. I'm going to slide it in this general direction. Have it rotate and face. Now the zero on the numeric keypad will face it. G will position it up. G Y will pull it to the left and right. G X will pull it back. Let's pull it back a little bit more. And let's go fix these again with by just using our O key. too afraid of distorting it. Make sure things are still vertical. It also works for the rotate key. Our trees are a little crooked. So we'll push them back over. There's our scene. This is what it's going to look like when we render it, which is done by just pushing F12. So there's our final landing spot of our dragon. We need to make it fly across the screen, get larger and larger so it gets closer, and then land at the bottom. And we'll be done. So press escape to get out our render. And we're ready to animate our little dragon steps involved in animating the dragon. There's a couple of ways to do this. One of them would be to animate the uh, bones of the dragon and move the bones around while leaving the origin down here at the bottom. And we can't scale it and make it shrink and grow that way. So I'm going to select the entire dragon like this. Then I'm going to position it in the upper right hand corner of this over here. Oops, over here. And then we're going to scale the whole thing down to make him look like he's way off in the distance. Oh, I haven't got that right at all. I'm going backwards. There we go. We're going this side. Rotate G180. Probably going to tilt him down a little, a little bit. Rotate G180. Rotate down. And also let's tilt him towards the camera a bit. Outside the camera, we want him to come in from this right hand edge, travel across, swoop down, come towards the camera, and grow. We're going to scale him up. He's only going to come towards the camera slightly. It's going to seem like he's coming from a greater distance because we're going to scale him up as he moves a real small distance. Then we're going to swing him down and bring him in for a landing and have him plop down. So, in order to do this, we position our cursor at the very beginning here of our, our video and we're running 25 frames per second with the camera mode 24 close enough to 25 that we can just count easily that way so we're on frame one we're going to hover above this and type in insert and here it's recorded our position of all the parts of this particular avatar we're just going to move the whole thing scale it up and bring them in for a landing and then later we'll make the wings flap uh, the eyes move things like that so we need to count off about a second. That would be 25. Move it over part of the way and insert it. Go to 50. Move it part of the way. Insert it. We need to start curving him here around 75. So we're going to move him over a little bit and rotate him and scale him at the same time with S and insert that at 100. We're going to bring him straight towards us, rotate it, bring him a little bit 
for relative motion and scale him some more. Insert it. 125. Bring him forward a little more. Rotate him some more. Let's bank him a little bit too. Let's scale him up a bit. There we go. Going high. Um, 125, we 150. Bring him over this way. Now we got to move, start moving more quickly. And downward. I. And 75. things about keyframes, if you don't like one of them, you go back and delete it, move it, shift it, add more things to it, position it where you want it. After the fact, I, uh, 200, move him a little bit more and settle him back. Now we want him to be reaching for the ground with his feet forward. So I'm going to put him down pretty close with his feet reaching forward. And we're just going to go a little bit more, and that's when he settles in. The feet will actually be up back there, and they'll be down here. So we'll insert it there, and we'll insert it here. Let's make this whole thing 300 long. E down here, we'll restore that. So we go back to the beginning, and unselect it, and hit play. Here is our little dragon flying around the television, coming in for a landing. Ta-da! Now we got to get him flapping, moving, and we're going to move the camera too. So this is a good start. We'll come back and edit all of this and have him flap and look like a real dragon.